In this video what I'm going to show you is what's known as a site notebook that comes standard with every SharePoint team site with SharePoint Online in Office 365. So what I've got here is I've got my standard team site and you'll see over here on the quick launch menu there is an item called notebook. So if I select that that will take me basically to OneNote Online. So what this is is Microsoft have a product in their Office traditional desktop Office suite called OneNote. Now what that means allows you to do is to create digital notebooks. So this is basically just an online manifestation of that. So you can see up the top here we've got OneNote Online. The next is my team site. I can get back to it by simply clicking on that link. But what I'm throwing into by default is an empty OneNote Online. So what I can do in here is I can go in for example add um, text and I can add um, all the information that I wish to this notebook. I can copy and paste, I can insert images. So again, think of it like a scrapbook in which I can um, place just about any sort of digital information um, in there at any point in time. Now, you'll notice here that uh, what I can do is, is I can quickly extend this book and I can add more information to it as I go along. So if I go over here I can for example add another page and in this case I can call it page page 2. So again very easy to work with. Now if I want to go back to uh, the first page here that and actually edit it I simply click on it and then go in and update that to the correct description. So again it's very easy to navigate around I can add another page Again, I can go over here to uh, the section area and I can, for example, add another section to it quite easily. Uh, and there we go, we've now got a second section. And you can see that it, it colorizes it and does all that sort of information. Now, not only can I work with the keyboard, but you'll notice that across the top, I also get uh, the traditional file menu and I get the ability to pick, pull down the uh, Microsoft ribbon menu that I can now work with. If I want to see that all the time I go across here to the push pin on the extreme right, push that and you'll see that the OneNote moves down and allows me to continue to see the ribbon. So in here I can insert a new page, I can insert a new section, I can for example uh, put in a link. So if I want to put in a link um, I can just put in the website as required, simple as. So again we can go through all this and importantly again if we want we can print this all out. Now as with SharePoint Online one of the most powerful features is the ability to do searches. So what I can do in up here is if I want to for example um, insert a table I can type that in and it will suggest to me how to insert a table right there and then. So that's a quick and easy way to actually start working with the document. But what you'll find is is that all the information that is saved into OneNote becomes automatically indexed and saved in my team site. So if I go back to my team site here, just click on demo and this will take me back to my team site. What we'll find here is again we can go back into this OneNote online at any time and update this. So anybody within your team site who has the ability to contribute, for example, read and write, they will also have the ability to enter information into this team site. So quick and easy. So the next question is is actually where is this team site held? So sorry, where is this OneNote held? So if we go into site contents, uh, what we can do, for example, is go into our site assets. So our site assets basically is a uh, document library that is hidden from normal view. And in here you'll find our demo notebook. So this is our notebook for our site. So if I click on that, again I'll be launched once again into OneNote Online and I can now go in and edit it as I was doing before. But the real power of this sort of product and any um, Office Online is the ability to actually link it and open it with the traditional desktop software. So I have OneNote installed on my desktop. You'll notice that up here in the browser I have the ability to open in OneNote. So what I'm going to do is select that running Windows 8. So what I'm going to do is open it in OneNote on the desktop. So that will now launch the traditional desktop application for me. It will then start downloading and synchronizing that information. So again, as you can see, it's loaded it. You'll see that uh, 
it has the ability here to display exactly what we've seen in the browser. So if I go in here and let me add uh, section 3 and what I'll do here is maybe insert um, some images. So what I can do here is I can insert, um, let's go into pictures and let's go into find some pictures on our local machine here. So if I go into pictures here no, not in there. Let's go into our images here. Actually, let's put in this one, go insert, and you'll see that the picture is now um, listed in the OneNote on my desktop. Now, what's happening in the background here is this OneNote is now synchronizing with the version up in the cloud, so the site notebook that I've got. So if I minimize that, let me go back to my uh, demo site and just show you that there's no smoke and mirrors here what I will do is I will go into my OneNote uh, my notebook here my site notebook which I now have synchronized to my desktop and what we will see is we will see that it already has a section 3 if I now select section 3 we will see that that image from our desktop which is here is now displayed in this notebook on Office 365. So again, remember that a site notebook is basically a default OneNote file that comes with every team site that you can edit in the browser and also edit with OneNote on your desktop. It allows you a great way to do freeform text, put all sorts of information that may not fit well into other things like Word and Excel. So it's a great location for all that sort of ad hoc information. Importantly, you can synchronize the information with OneNote on your device, whether that be a desktop or a mobile device, and take that information with you. And finally, remember, everything that you put into OneNote, you can then use the SharePoint search to locate that information. So quick and easy, great way to store all sorts of ad hoc information. So thank you very much for watching.